Thank you. Uh, the fallout has already started. As uh, we just heard, shortly after the news of mad cow disease in Washington state broke out, Japan, one of the largest buyers of U.S. beef, banned imports of it. We've also just learned South Korea has done the same. CNN's Steve Herman joins us from our Tokyo bureau. He's on the video phone. Uh, it did not take long for the Japanese to act, did it? No, it only took a few hours, Aaron, and the action by both Japan and South Korea is swift and pervasive. Both countries immediately effectively halting all imports of American beef. The quarantine division of the ministry says it is stopping immediately to issue certificates. And as far as the beef that's already in the country, that's uh, going to be tested. We have not had any reports yet of supermarkets clearing beef from the shelves here. This is uh, going to be very good news, uh, actually, for the Australian cattle industry. Australia is number one, Japan, uh, United States number two as far as imports uh, into uh, Japan of beef. Uh, the United States sending about a half million tons annually of beef to Japan. Japanese consumers have been wary about their own beef uh, in the last few years because of nine cases of mad cow here. Also, a can of Canadian beef was stopped uh, from coming into Japan in May because of one single case of uh, mad cow. And that Canadian case, Aaron, is uh, going to be a, a very good example of how tough it's going to be to get American beef back into Japan. Canada has lobbied heavily to try to get its beef back into Japan, saying this was one incident, it was isolated, and Canadian beef is 100% safe. But the Canadians have not been successful so far, Aaron, in getting their beef back into Japan since May. Steve, thank you very much. That'll be a big story tomorrow as well as other nations weigh in. Thank you. On now to other